What's going on, guys? Um, so apologize. Um, this video is coming out a little bit late. Um, it's about just past midnight, so I just missed the, the deadline. Uh, the, the video that I recorded, you guys, some of you may have saw it. I know like 48 of you or so saw it, and the audio was all messed up, so I don't know what happened there. So anyway, redoing it. It's going to come out after midnight, so technically I missed a day. Sorry about that. So we'll talk to you about tourniquets. And um, uh, but guys, this is something that I didn't think was that big of a deal. Um, and then people told me, dude, you better go to training, especially if you carry, if you carry a gun or have a gun. Um, and uh, let me tell you something, this is something that can save your life. It can save your children's life. It could save somebody else's life. There was one time I was on the freeway, um, and there was an accident, maybe a minute or two ahead of me. It just had happened. People were getting out of their cars. And as I went by about 10 miles an hour, uh, I rolled my window down and just said, Hey, um, you know, is he okay? And they said, no, no, he's bleeding out or he's bleeding really bad. And I said, oh shoot. I said, do you need a tourniquet? And the guy said, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. And so I stopped my car in the middle of the freeway, ran around to the back, grabbed this tourniquet off the molly panel on the back. I grabbed a, a tourniquet just like this and handed it to him. And um, I don't know what happened, but I, you know, I, he told me he knew how to put it on and, uh, and I ended up driving off, but um, that may have saved a person's life, guys. I'm, I'm serious. Like handing somebody a tourniquet like that, a $10 tourniquet may have saved somebody's life or saved their limb or something like that. They have children, whatever. So anyway, pay attention to this. It is really easy. It's really fast. And I'm going to teach you the tricks and hacks um, that I learned when I, I went to a paid training on this a, while, a long time ago. So, um, so anyway, guys, uh, number one, the first thing is you want this thing to be highly accessible. Okay. You don't want to put this deep in a bag or in a glove, glove box or, you know, like, I don't know, you could put it in a glove box, but I mean, just don't have it buried somewhere where somebody who doesn't know can't find it or a kid couldn't find it. If you're yelling at a kid saying, Hey, not yelling at him, but yelling to a kid saying, Hey, uh, it's in the glove box or it's in the side door. It's wherever, like you wanted them to be able to see it and get to it. Okay. So that's the first thing is the accessibility. Number two, take it out of the package and pre-prep it. Okay. If you're going to buy one dude, pre-prep it. Trust me. Uh, I've, saw, I've seen the videos and stuff on this when you go to training telling you dude 10 seconds matters and somebody losing their uh, half their leg their whole leg or none of their leg 10 seconds okay because that blood is pouring out you only have so many pints of blood in your body and as it's pouring out it's pouring out so um so 10 seconds 20 seconds 30 seconds is a massive massive difference when it comes to some type of trauma like this okay um so here's what i mean so so um so number one take the package off just keep it like this you don't have to worry about being sanitary or anything like that that's not uh, necessarily what these are for or no i mean guys military guys just carry them just like this strapped to the side of their gun okay <laughs> like think about where their guns going in and out of so um the other thing is there's typically a band that goes across the front here like this okay you don't want the band to be on there because what happens is this band will get tucked underneath here. So when the tension is on the backside of this, when the tension is on the backside here, somebody who doesn't know won't know how to loosen this up. Okay, you see how, well, the, it's loosened up right there. You see that? You see what I'm saying? So a lot of people are not gonna know how to do that. Um, so you want it to be pre, you want to package it up. I mean, you see how hard it is for me to try to get that thing off of there. So, I mean, you probably would almost rip it. So, you know, you have to, it's just better to store it like this, guys. Okay. Just store it like that, that thing open. Okay. Um, so that's tip number one. Tip number one is open bag. Oh, just did, ditch the bag. Tip number two, leave this top part open. Tip number three is go ahead and, and have this set up like this. I guess this is how all the special forces military guys do it. It will come to you most likely like this. Okay, so it's pulled all the way through the loop. Um, there, I'm just trying to see. Okay, it's pulled all the way through the loop and then it's folded up like this. So it looks really neat and pretty something like this okay but but see when somebody opens it they don't know what this is i mean they're like what what, what do i what it's like no dude dude it's right here you know what i'm saying so that, that kind of time you don't need you don't need a way so just pull it through put this on there just like that you want it like this okay so when somebody goes to deploy it they get it i mean you know what I'm saying? People get it. So put it right here. You can flip it over, uh, slip it over a boot, anything like that. Okay. That's, that's going to be big enough for almost everything. Um, so that's one thing. Okay. Um, 
So yeah, I think that's about all the, the basics of, the, of prepping it. Um, the other thing is, uh, so when you put it on, you put it, you go ahead and put it on somewhere. You want it obviously between the cut of the where the blood's coming out and the heart, okay? And so when you put it on, let's say I'm gonna put it on here on my forearm, all you would do is grab this end right here and just cinch it down, okay? So you're just gonna cinch that down and for demonstration, I'm not gonna kill myself here but uh, you cinch it down as tight as you can, the strap, okay? Leave the rest hanging. Just, just, touch, just cinch it down right there like that. That's all it is, guys, okay? Just going around, okay? And it doesn't have to be perfect. It can be slightly off like that. It doesn't have to be perfect, okay? And then what you do here with the toggle or whatever this thing's called is you just start turning it, okay? And then you would turn this thing uh, until bleeding stops, okay? So um, believe it or not, that turning may go a lot, it may be a little bit, it may hurt the person, they may be screaming, uh, they may be in pain. If it's a kid, they're not gonna like it, but trust me, they, they will, you know, you're, you're gonna be doing your best to save their life, okay? So you keep turning and turning and turning until the bleeding has stopped. You do not stop turning. I mean, you might as well take it off. You, you do not stop turning unless the bleeding has stopped. And then you go ahead and pinch it, pinch this piece down in here in the lock. So there's a lock right here. There is a lock right here where that thing just wedges under, either on this side or on this side. Okay, so that's what you do there, and then uh, and then you would then grab this piece, pull it over, and that's going to hold this part in. Okay, and also you could write the time on here, which would be important to know when the ambulance or somebody gets there. If it's been an hour, 30 minutes, five minutes, stuff like that, because they will know uh, a lot of things about releasing it and things like that. But that is basically everything, guys, that you need to know about a tourniquet. And, um, you know, the thing that I would say is I just want to let you know, you know, I have multiple of these in my car. Um, they're not that expensive. Uh, I have multiple in my car. I have one every time I'm carrying a gun. I have one on me. Um, I have one when I'm hunting with my kids. I have one. Um, I have multiple in the house. I mean, uh, it's just something that you want to have uh, in case of an emergency or anything happening, especially if you carry a weapon. Um, you, you know, you should definitely um, have a tourniquet. I mean, chances are, if you ever had to deploy your 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 weapon. Um, so, you know, there's obviously a light, higher likelihood that somebody will need a tourniquet. So anyway, guys, um, hopefully that helps you out. Thanks so much. I'll be here every single day for you guys. So I, I appreciate you guys so much. And uh, once again, uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Look for me in the news feed or the video feed. Much love. See you guys.